Yes, hello. This is President. Yeah. Uh, Dean Rask, um, do you have a minute, sir? Sure. Um, here's a matter that we have to move on right away. Um, Stalin's daughter, Stalin's daughter turned up in India, turned up in India to uh, cream, cremate her husband, her husband, her Indian husband who had died in husband who had died in the Soviet Union. While there, she asked us, while there, she asked us, Indians, who pledged to live in India, who pledged to live in India, they said it's okay with us, it's all right with the Soviet. He went to the Soviet ambassador, and he was very harsh about it, saying, no, you've got to go back to the Soviet Union, and you never get out. Whereupon she packed the bag and walked into the American embassy. Our embassy people were not taking from here. With us back here, uh, uh, gave her a visa, and she's on a Qantas plane, an Australian plane, on, on its way to Rome. Now we look at this. Uh, now we look at this here uh, pretty carefully here, and we in CIA agree that uh, this is not the country in which she ought to try to find residence. It's just too hot to handle. We would have great difficulty in guaranteeing her safety with all these uh, Stalin refugees in this country. And uh, we would like to arrange, try to find some way for her to settle in Switzerland or Italy or someplace over there. But I just want you to know about this because um, it was, there was an action taken in Delhi. Uh, without checking with us, I think they felt that um, they only had a few hours to get her out while they felt it was their responsibility. I'm not quite sure. Um, but we have a situation. And so I just wanted you to know that what we plan to do is to try to uh, work it out so she uh, settled in Western Europe somewhere. Will, will these other countries have the same problem? Uh, Switzerland probably would not. Um, but um, and I, I don't think any of us uh, or any country would turn her over to the Soviets against her will. Uh, but she will have a, maybe a day or two in Italy in transit where some of these things can be worked on. Uh, but um, I don't know whether you remember I think this is before your time, but uh, we did have a similar problem with uh, Khrushchev's son-in-law who wanted to come over here, and we didn't let him come because of the overriding political component involved. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think this is one of those cases, and uh, although we can't uh, connive in delivering her back to the Soviets, uh, now that we've uh, gotten this much involved, we ought to try to work it out quietly to persuade her to seek uh, settlement somewhere in Western Europe. All right. What did you, did you have your conference with Pat Dean today? Uh, he comes in at 6. I understand that um, he's going to urge that uh, the man uh, visit over there that you had spoken to me about the other day, and I do have a suggestion that uh, if he could go over for to visit about six countries for a period of about 10 days or so, it could be very helpful. So if you could give that further thought, I can see you when you get back. All right. I had thought that would be a desirable thing. I don't want to do it at their request, though. Uh -huh. uh, they'll leak it in one hour, and then we will have the house toppling down on us, and we'll be sending this man uh, for, for something other than just our own desire to be uh, uh, work in harmony with them and so forth. I regret that they had to make the request at all because their effect would have uh, been uh, uh, the same in another week. Right, right. Uh, uh, I had no knowledge that they had any such thoughts along this line. Yeah, and I don't, uh, I have no reason whatever to think that they smell at the possibility because uh, I have spoken literally to no one in this building or anywhere else on that. Um, well, let me, uh, you know, one of the things we can do, we've been planning a uh, meeting of our ambassadors in Bonn um, a little later in the month, and we could arrange for him to drop in on our ambassadors meeting, and that would um, be a useful plus, I think, in the in the exercise. Do you have uh, anything scheduled there at all in the next uh, two months? Oh, my, my, you mean my own schedule? Mm -hmm. I've got a pretty full schedule. Uh, there's almost nothing I couldn't... Uh, I say, do you have anything over there in the next two months? Oh, yes. I have a, um, I have a CENTO meeting at the end of, toward the end of April in London. Mm -hmm. Well, now, that might be a good time. Uh, I gather that the PM was very anxious to get some help on this before Easter, if possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, 
What does he think? Uh, he's disassociated himself. What do they want him to do? Send troops in to help him? I think he wants some help with his bank ventures and some of his editors and people like that. I, uh, I worked with some of his editors, and um, as a matter of fact, I'm going. I've got the British and Canadian correspondents upstairs now, waiting for a backgrounder, and I thought I could, might try to be of some help there. Um, but um, let me try to find out from Pat Dean a little more of what's really on his mind. I wouldn't give them any indication of what I'd said to you the other night because I sure don't want to do it if they're urging their request because we just have uh, so many leaks. You, uh, right, right. Uh, so uh, right. let's just don't give him any indication. Maybe this fellow, I talked to him the other night and asked him, but maybe he started it. He, he, has, he does that once in a while. Uh -huh. He may have uh, given him an indication. I see. Well, let me, uh, let me see what I can find out from Pat without any industry. Any other news? Um, not particularly. Uh, Arthur Goldberg and I are going up to the Senate committee in the morning on the space treaty. What does the author say about his? I haven't, he's not back yet. He comes in, uh, he's getting in just about now in New York. He will see Utah at 7.30, and then I'll be in touch with him just after that. What does youth on bring back? Uh, based on his... Uh, public statements, uh, nothing at all. I suspect he got out of the Vietnamese, what we've already had directly from them. Uh, but we'll know by 8.30, I think, tonight, if they brought back into Has he communicated with us at all? Uh, Utah, no, sir. No, sir. Did, uh, are we seeing him at Goldberg's request? Um, yes, I think so. I think, uh, What's the answer to Mansfield's uh, charge we ought to have a ceasefire with everybody? We've offered to a dozen times, haven't we? We have if it's comprehensive enough, but, uh, but uh, that standstill idea of his is, is almost impossible to work out in a guerrilla situation um, because the forces are all mixed up with each other and uh, we can't give up access to all the district towns and provincial capitals and things of that sort. That's, that's an extremely complicated matter to work out practically on the ground. I think we ought to really concentrate on the, the infiltration problem uh, because that's the, the, the heart of the matter. and. Um, uh, take on this other business, uh, the, the ceasefire in connection with amnesty and uh, reconciliation and that kind of thing. Otherwise, we'd be in an impossible military and uh, supply situation out there. Have we ever got Bobby's uh, analyzed carefully where we sure we have tried the identical thing um, during the pause? I've, uh, I've gone over it uh, pretty thoroughly and um, it's quite clear that uh, that um, Hanoi would say that his proposal is a uh, is an ultimatum. The same thing with Finley. I don't know whether you've seen the tickers, but Finley apparently uh, dropped off a proposal to you today uh, along the same lines that we tell the other side that we have an ambassador in Rangoon or someplace that will talk with them. Then if we if they don't talk with us immediately uh, during a short bombing pause, that we just go all out and blast them off the face of the earth. Well, it's, that's the whole point here, the, uh, the attitude of, to, of the other side toward what they consider to be an ultimatum. Uh, it just wouldn't get anywhere at all, and we know that from the most recent experience. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have lunch tomorrow. Yeah, thanks.